I'm Riku. People say I'm a pretty laid-back guy. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it's not. Either way, I was just going about my day as usual. Oh, car trouble. You idiot! You left the lights on! The battery's dead! What are you gonna do about it? I'm sorry, sir! I forgot! Um, need some help? Huh? What are you looking at? Um, yeah, our battery's dead. We have a lady with us, too, so we don't know what to do. Um, thank you, stranger. Oh, that sucks. Want me to jumpstart the car? Oh, that would be so helpful. Do you know how? No, but I'll just Google it. <laughs> I looked up how to jumpstart a car. 30 minutes later, the car was working again. Oh, thank you. Glad it worked. Oh, want some cold drinks? I just came back from the supermarket. I completely forgot I had them in my trunk. Here. You're very kind. Thank you. Um, thank you, stranger. I should have remembered earlier. It must have been hot in there. Sorry for taking so long to notice. The girl told me to give her my number so she could send me something later to thank me for everything. So, I did. Anyways, two scary looking guys driving with a pretty girl like that. Hmm, who are they anyways? But a few hours later, I completely forgot about it all. I didn't do much and she was probably just being polite. But then, the next day, they actually showed up at my house. The girl from yesterday and four scary looking guys. Thank you so much for yesterday. Here's a token of our appreciation. Also, we want you to go out with Miss Misa. She fell in love with you. You should be honored. Huh, you really want to go out with me? Yes, I've never felt this way before. My family is Yakuza, but if it's okay with you. I think there's more than enough cash in there. But if you need more, just say the word. Uh, I'm sorry, but I, I can't accept this money. First of all, all I did was jumpstart your car. This is too much for something like that. And besides, you already thanked me yesterday, so that's that. No need to pay me. And as for Miss Misa, I don't want to go out with someone for money. <coughs> hey, kid. You really think you can say no to us? Huh? Well, if you're asking me to date someone for money... Yeah, I'm gonna say no. You little... Stop it. <laughs> I'm impressed. Normally, people are frightened by us Yakuza. Yesterday when you helped us, did you realize we were Yakuza? Um, no. I didn't really think about it. So you just found out today, but you didn't even flinch. That's another thing I like about you. So... It's a no? You don't want to go out with a girl from a Yakuza family? No, that's not it. If you really want, we can give it a shot. And I don't want to judge someone based on their family business. Uh, such a gentleman. I didn't really put much thought into it, but I decided to give it a shot. I was now dating a girl named Misa from a Yakuza family. Misa-san was pretty and kind. I, I really enjoyed spending time with her. But she always had bodyguards around her, and they were always watching us through security cameras. Then, one day, we ran into my sister. Hey, is this your girlfriend? Yeah, this is Misa. Uh, hey, I don't know if you noticed, but those guys, they've been following you. Oh, no worries. Misa-san's family is Yakuza. They're her bodyguards. They're here to protect her. Wait, you're dating someone from a Yakuza family? Uh, yeah. What? Why? Those people are dangerous. You're gonna get hurt or something. Hey, stop being rude. It doesn't matter what her family business is. Or what, do you ask your boyfriend what his parents do for a living every time? I'm dating Misa-san because I like being with her. What her family does is irrelevant. Uh, uh, oh, wow. <sighs> but it's the Yakuza. Normal people would be frightened. My brother, he's too laid back. Later, I made my sister apologize to her. And we went on our way. Sorry. Hey, Riku-san. You're such a gentleman. One day, I'll cut ties with my family. When I do, let's get married. Sure, but I'll still have to meet your parents if we're going to get married. Riku-san, 
He's such a gentleman. Uh, I love him so much. <laughs> I don't like to overthink, but I like that about myself. Worrying too much doesn't really help. You should always try things first. Things usually work out in the end. If I said no to Misa-san just because she was from a Yakuza family, I would have never realized what a great person she is. By the way, I found out later that I was on the police watch list ever since I started dating Misa-san. Apparently, they keep an eye on everyone affiliated with Yakuza members. That means her bodyguards weren't the only ones watching us when we were out on dates. But we weren't breaking any laws, so I don't really mind. I'm pretty laid back too. I don't really think too hard about stuff. I usually just try things first and see. Sometimes it works, sometimes not so well. Anyway, I'm glad to see things worked out for them. What did you think? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.